I've got some bad news for anybody who uses Elementor and wants to use the latest things that WordPress is working on. WordPress 5.9 broke something in Elementor. If you use one of the themes that is compatible with the new features of WordPress 5.9, I'm going to explain what all this means in this tutorial. So make sure you stick around if you use Elementor. In case you didn't know, WordPress 5.9 has been released. And if you're not seeing the update video for 5.9 and what comes with it, all the features you get with WordPress 5.9, check out the video I released last week. It's linked to in the card up above in the description down below. It walks through all the features. And one of the things 5.9 does, or the biggest thing is full set editing. But in order to make that happen, there's a new WordPress navigation block that's used in the WordPress Gutenberg editor. When we go to appearance, we see this menu's changed. Every theme that's compatible with the new version of the navigation block and the new version 5.9, you will see appearance like this. I have seen some themes that still have a menus editor in here, but this is the 2022 theme and it doesn't, and likely most themes won't in the future. And it's these ones that break Elementor because when we go into a page, this is all walk through in the other videos. I'm just going to blow through it a little faster. If you want to see how I get here and how I do this, watch the other video. So this is a navigation block here, which is one of the new blocks or the new block. If I look up nav, we got a navigation block right here. And we can make our navigation menu right inside of the page editor. There's no more separate menus area where you create menus and then embed them on a page. And in here, you can also name your navigation menu. So I named this one Gutenberg navigation. We also have these classic menus. I'm not entirely sure what these are, or where they come from, but they're here by default. We can also click on manage menus, which shows a page that has our one menu that we've created so far. Every menu you create in a page using the navigation block. If we go select menu again, we can go to create new menu and that will create a new menu. And that menu will then show up in this list here. If I refresh, Nope, we have to actually make a menu. Let's start empty. Let's just add a page. Test page. Update that and save it. Now we have a new menu here called navigation. And you can come in here and edit the name. If I click on edit, it doesn't show anything besides the name. This will likely change in the future, but for now, it's just the name. And using these menus inside the Gutenberg editor is great. You can switch back to the Gutenberg navigation that I created and it all works just fine. But if we go into Elementor, this is where the problems arise. I'm just gonna delete this section here. We use our nav, drag our nav into here. And this is one of the classic ones that we saw on that list, footer mobile primary, which is the same as these ones here, classic menus, footer, mobile, primary. I don't know where these come from, but they're there and they've all got the same thing. Must be able to create and edit them somewhere. But the menu we created, the one called Gutenberg Navigation, that is not in this list. And if I click on go to menu screen to manage your menus, your theme does not support navigation menus or widgets. And this is going to be the future. So Elementor needs to change this functionality or WordPress does or somehow they have to work together because this is kind of a deal breaker. And the reason it's a deal breaker is 5.9 is brand new, just came out last week. If I switch to a different theme, let's go to appearance and themes and activate Astra, which is hugely popular. I use it in lots of sites. We have our regular appearance menu back and we can go to menus and create them as usual. But now that the new version of WordPress is out, the 2022 theme takes advantage of the new version of WordPress and the new navigation block, the menu editor is gone. There's just the editor and this is where you can create template pages. You can't create menus in here. So it's um, changed. It's changed a lot. And so the newer themes, there's a chance that more and more themes are going to get rid of the menus option because they don't want to have menus being built in two different locations, I don't think. What, what the way Elementor did it is they took advantage of the WordPress menus so you wouldn't have to build menus separately inside of Elementor. But now they're going to have to either make it see so build menus separately in Elementor or somehow connect these new versions of menus. Either way, I just want to show you that, that is the problem that we're currently facing. If we use Elementor for our menus and you're using a theme 
that supports the new navigation block and not the old menu system, something to watch out for, and hopefully something that'll be resolved. And I tested this only in Elementor, but every page builder that taps into the old WordPress menus under appearance and menus is gonna have the same problem. And if you know of a workaround, please let everyone know in the comments down below, it'd be super helpful. I just wanna give you a quick update on something fun that I'm working on. I'm currently migrating all of the WP Learning Lab courses to a gamified platform, which makes consuming the course material much more fun. And what I'm gonna do is every single week, I'm gonna choose somebody at random from the comments on the previous week's videos or someone on the mailing list. Choose them at random, whoever I pick, I'm gonna email them and they're gonna get free access to any course they want from a list of courses that I'll send via email. And it doesn't matter if you only watched one of my videos or if you've been a subscriber for the past five years. You just need to leave a comment on one of my previous week's videos on YouTube or be an active subscriber on my mailing list to be entered in this contest and you get the course for free, which I think is pretty awesome. So make sure you leave comments on as many of the new videos as you can to be in the running to get access to a course for free for life. In fact, let's do the first draw right now. I haven't finished migrating the courses yet, but you can pick your free course if you picked as a winner today. And then when the courses are released, you get access to the course right away, the one that you choose. So first, let's take a look at our list here. That's blurred out for privacy reasons. Let's go to the very bottom. And this list changes every week, depending on who's active on the subscriber list, who's leaving comments on the YouTube channel. So just because you weren't picked last week doesn't mean you won't get picked this week. So it's always good to open emails, reply to emails, leave comments, things like that. So we have 7,701 people on the list this week. Let's go to Google, find a random number generator. Same one we did last week. 7,701, I believe. Yep, and generate. Random number today. 1243 the lucky winner is 1243 Jim Jim you can expect an email from me shortly with a list of courses you can choose from and like I said you can pick one for free anyone you want and then once all my courses are migrated I'll send you access and you can log into it and start consuming the course right away congratulations to Jim and if any of you guys watching want to be in the drawing for next week you got to leave a comment on a video this week one of my new release videos, not an older one, only the new video releases count, or get on the mailing list and open an email, then you become an active subscriber, and then you'll be on the list as well. If you need clarification on that, please let me know. Next up, check out the full release video right over here where I show you all the new features in WordPress 5.9, how you can use them, and how you can hopefully make your sites better using those features. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.